So what is a heterogeneous equilibrium? Notice that the word equilibria is shown up here. Equilibria is just the plural form of equilibrium, right? I have one equilibrium, I have two or more equilibria. So a heterogeneous equilibrium is an equilibrium reaction in which one or more of your reactants or products is a pure solid or a pure liquid. So for instance, in this chemical reaction, we have gaseous HCl reacting with gaseous oxygen to produce liquid water uh, and some chlorine gas. So this is an example of a heterogeneous equilibrium. So the question on my mind is if we wanted to write an expression for the equilibrium constant for this reaction, how would we do it? And I think at this point, this is a good opportunity to go to the whiteboard and see if we can write an expression for the equilibrium constant for this reaction. Let's say we wanted to know what the equilibrium constant is for this reaction, right? That would be K, I'll just call it KC, equilibrium constant with respect to concentration. Well, if we apply the law of mass action, which is the relationship between equilibrium constants and concentrations of reactants and products, uh, we would be uh, inclined to conclude that the expression for the equilibrium constant is going to be the concentration of water, H2O, raised to the second power, because there's a coefficient of two in front of it, times the concentration of chlorine, Cl2, also raised to the second power, because it also has a coefficient of two, uh, divided by the concentration of HCl raised to the fourth power, times the concentration of O2 raised to the first power, or simply just the concentration of O2. So this is what we might expect to be the correct expression for the equilibrium constant for this heterogeneous equilibrium. However, I am here to tell you that this is incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Well, the reason why it's incorrect is because in this case, water is a pure liquid, right? Its concentration does not change over the course of this reaction. The concentration of pure liquid water is determined by the density of water, which is constant at a constant temperature, right? And so, the lesson here, the very important thing to understand, is that when you have a heterogeneous equilibrium, right, when you have a reaction in which one or more of your reactants or products is a solid or a liquid, you must omit them from the equilibrium constant expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this water term here and we're going to simply erase it. We are going to remove it from the expression for the equilibrium constant. And so what we arrive at is this, which is correct, where we have the concentration of chlorine squared divided by the concentration of HCl to the fourth power times the concentration of O2. So this is the, ex the correct expression for the equilibrium constant. So make sure that if you are encountering a problem like this on a test that you always pay attention to these little states of matter that are located in the parentheses, right? Because they, they matter. They're important. Sometimes we overlook them. Sometimes we kind of let them pass over our eyes and we don't really pay attention to them. And we're mostly just concerned about the chemical formulas, but in this case, the states of matter uh, are very, very important. And they could be the difference between a correct and an incorrect answer. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to watch the full video from which this clip was taken, click the box over there on the left. And if you'd like to watch my entire chemical equilibrium playlist, click the box on the right. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one.